low intensity steady state cardio if you've ever needed clothes that are comfortable enough to do cardio in let me tell you about legend london so you can find the denim jacket the hoodie which is simple in the front but has the legend london logo at the back and you can find the jeans they're the sponsor of this video so if you want to check anything of their stuff out first thing in the description let's kick it off Cardio ranks is one of the most important tools for fat loss. Comparing 2017 and 2018, there was one piece of cardio I failed to incorporate because it was too easy. And this was only to my detriment. Finally, when I incorporated low intensity steady state cardio, it was the final piece I needed to achieve the sub 10% body fat look. If you want to burn calories and lose fat faster without even breaking a sweat, you've come to the right place. All you're going to do is something that you've been doing every day since you were nine to 12 months old and that you'll be doing for the rest of your life. Of course, it's no high intensity interval training, but this form of cardio needs more attention than it gets. Low intensity, steady state cardio. Walking doesn't seem to qualify as a cardio workout because, well, it's easy. And when it comes to exercise, easy is usually equated with worthless. Yes, the best results generally come from strenuous activity like heavy weight lifting and high intensity interval training, as we've covered in the previous video. But that doesn't mean there's no place for low intensity exercise like walking. But before I take you onto the easiest cardio to lose fat faster, do me a favor. I work my ass off on these videos and it only takes a millisecond for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the video with a like and if you're new, subscribe. But let's jump into the science and let me make my case. A study conducted by scientists at California State University with college men and women found that subjects that ran a 10 minute mile burned about 190 calories. Subjects that walked a 19 minute mile burned fewer calories, of course, but it's not as few as you may think, about 111 calories. It would be criminal to your progress not to add a 20 minute walk to your daily routine and burn that extra 100 plus calories. Walking may not burn many calories, but the calories it does burn come primarily from fat stores. Another study by the University of Texas Medical Branch states, Peripheral lipolysis was stimulated maximally at the lowest exercise intensity and fatty acid release into the plasma decreased with increasing exercise intensity. You see, you burn both fat and carbs when you exercise and the proportions vary with intensity. As the intensity increases, so does the reliance upon muscle glycogen for energy over fat stores. And this is why very low intensity activity like walking taps mainly into fat stores for energy, whereas high intensity exercise pulls much more heavily from carbohydrate stores. This is also why some people think that low intensity steady state cardio is best for losing weight. When it comes to losing fat, every calorie burned helps. So even relatively small amounts of walking will help you reach your goal faster. If you ever look for advice on how to lose fat faster, especially with hip, belly, thigh fat, You've probably read about exercising on an empty stomach. Well, exercising when your stomach feels empty won't necessarily help you burn or lose more fat faster, but exercising in a fasted state will. Exercise is done when insulin levels are at baseline and food is no longer being processed and absorbed is fasted training. That being said, how to incorporate this to maximize its effect. On the screen, is my entire cardio regimen I did through my entire prep. Do not forget to leave a like because that information is so crucial. Steady state cardio. If you're starting your fat loss journey, I highly recommend you start here to develop your endurance. The consistency is so paramount for fat loss. Steady state cardio is much better for adherence. It's simple. It's simply unsustainable to sprint every day due to fatigue and wear and tear on your joints. Through my competition prep and even in my lean bulk, I incorporated this in two forms, informal and formal cardio. Informal cardio included accumulating a number of steps per day, 
tracking this on your phone or smartwatch. I would walk between 8,000 to 13,000 steps per day. I would start at 8,000 steps and slightly increase these steps each and every single week, further increasing the calories burnt and especially that from fat. My formal cardio would be done on a treadmill, low intensity steady state cardio. It would range between three and four sessions a week starting at 20 minutes per session and I would increase this over time. But how to do this on a treadmill? Set your treadmill at a max incline, which is typically 15%. I would walk six kilometers per hour speed and I'd keep that consistent. This would elevate my heart rate to over 140 beats per minute and maintain my VO2 max at 65%. If you wanna know more about VO2 max, do watch the previous video, I've linked it right here above. Research shows that it elicited maximum amounts of fat burn. Throughout the week, I would alternate my cardio sessions between high intensity interval training and low intensity steady state to allow my cardio to be more sustainable. And to reiterate, take steps every day between 8,000 and 13,000 steps. Normally, I would smash these out by walking blue and formal cardio in the gym after finishing my workout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Low intensity, steady state cardio. I think that a lot of us tend to overcomplicate the whole concept of fat loss. I think it was important that I reiterate some of the basics, some of the simple ways of losing fat that a lot of people aren't implementing. And as you saw the differences between the year and alternating with having some lists in your regime is gonna be extremely beneficial in the long term because of sustainability. But I want you guys to let me know what type of cardio you're doing in the comment section below. If you have any questions with regards to your cardio regime or what you're doing is right or wrong, do ask me in the comment section. I have a 99% rate of replying to all comments, but I'm gonna leave the video there. A little hint for the next video, which is exciting. Let me know if you guys can guess what I'd be doing or what I've been doing if you're following me on Instagram. But before I go, I also wanted to remind you guys that if you wanna pick up anything from Legend London, I love the company, I love the guys who are in charge of this. The quality of the clothing is great. You can check it out, first link in the description. But I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed the video, hit it with a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.